seen you in a while. Jason, your opinion of the 200 on Mount Hermon and their enslavement of humanity. You know what? I don't know if it was 200. I understand that the Jews, the rabbis, when they wrote the book of Enoch based off old Near Eastern texts and they, and they put that composition together, I understand why they used the, the why, they, why they said it was 200. The original Anuna were 50 in number led by Enki. Inky led, Inky led 50 people, and this, and this tradition lasted like over a thousand years. Even, even the Achaeans of, of Argos mentioned the uh, uh, benefact, benefactors like sea crops and, and different uh, civilization builders. When they appeared, they always appeared with 50 men in the ship, Jason and the Argonauts. So it's a, I understand why they said 200, because those old traditions say that a third of a third of the uh, uh, heavenly angels rebelled. Well, what the Jews were looking at, one of the things that astonished them was the old Anuna chronology, which was 600 year periods. And they tried to incorporate that by saying Noah was born and in the 600th year of Noah's life occurred the great flood. So they, they had put Noah in this older Anunnaki timeline when they were in the libraries of Babylon composing all these books, like the Book of Enoch. So, it doesn't surprise me that they said 200 of them descended on Mount Armon. It doesn't surprise me because 200 is exactly one-third of the 600-year Anunnaki timeline chronology. So, they were really mixing a bunch of concepts back then. The Jews, the Jews did a great job of putting these narratives together, but they really mixed a lot of things that did not have any any business uh, being I mean being put together. They they merged concepts that should have remained separate. Enoch is a good book. Find a lot of jewels. You find a lot of gems in the, in the Enochian text.